And he always said being mayor was the best job he ever had, but he wanted a crack at leading the state, and he did for eight years after Harry Hughes and before Paris Glenn Denning. Don Harrison covered Schaefer's every move as governor and comptroller in Annapolis and offers this tonight. I can't drive through Baltimore without thinking of him. Governor Schaefer had an impact on all of us, especially the governors that followed him. An uh, incredibly strong uh, a span of uh, years in public service who uh, demonstrated by his work ethic, by his ability to get up every day and do the job as if it were uh, the first day on the job. So he was a real inspiration, I think, to anyone who ever served in government, anyone who thought about serving in government. He affected me personally, sure. He was a mentor. He was someone I admired a great deal. We're very different, obviously, different generations. Uh, different parties, although the party difference was no big deal to him, as you know. You were with him or you were against him. That's how he thought in very clear, blunt terms. Governor Ehrlich sees that there will never be another like Schaefer. It used to be you send letters out, then it was faxes, and now obviously you're twittering um, at this corner at such and such a time. He never was going to acclimate himself to that. He did politics and he did life by his own rules, and so we're not going to see his like again. On the night of his passing, a clear moonlit night reflected on the State House and the flags that flew at half staff. It may have been a scene appropriate for a man of his stature. It's here in the rotunda of the State House where Governor Schaefer will lay in repose next Monday, where he will eventually be moved to Baltimore to lay beside his longtime friend, Hilda May Snoops. In Annapolis, I'm Don Harrison for ABC2 News.